मॉड्यूल थ्री डेटम्स इन जी डी एन टी नेक्स्ट इन दिस सीरीज डेटम्स आर द रेफरेंस सर्फेसिस और द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट फॉर द लोकेशन एंड ओरिएंटेशन फीचर्स दे आर इसेंशियल फॉर अप्रोप्रिएट एंड कंप्लीट टॉलरेंसिंग ऑफ अ पार्ट primary objectives of this module is to learn as how do we define a datum demonstrate how datum feature apply explain how a part is immobilized select datum feature and finally explaining datum targets definition Datums are theoretically perfect points, lines, and planes. They establish the origin from which the location or geometric characteristics of features of a part are established. These points, lines, and planes exist within a structure of three mutually perpendicular intersecting planes known as datum reference frame. This is a datum reference frame made up of three mutually perpendicular planes. These planes are x, y, y, z, and z, x. The main function of the datum reference frame is to specify a foundation for the inspection of the part. It is the common coordinate system of all tolerance zones. How do we immobilize the part? Paths are thought to have six degrees of freedom, three degrees of translational freedom, and three degrees of rotational freedom. A part can move back and forth in x direction, in and out in y direction, and up and down in z direction. It can also rotate about x, y, and z axis. When we place a part in the datum reference frame, the primary datum feature sits flat with a minimum three points of contact that are not in straight line. It eliminates three degrees of freedom: one translational and two rotational. The secondary datum feature is pushed up against a second plane of the datum reference frame with minimum of two points contact. it eliminates two degrees of freedom one translational and one rotational finally the part is slide along the first two planes of the datum reference frame until the third datum feature contacts the third plane of datum reference frame with minimum of one point contact it eliminates one degree of freedom which is translational how do we select a datum this is what we'll discuss now datums are selected to meet design requirements when selecting datum features the designer should consider the following characteristics functional surfaces understand about the functional surfaces in the components and assembly they become datums for dimensioning next criteria is mating surfaces surfaces which mate with each other are very critical and serve as datums as dimensions are referenced from there third criteria is readily accessible surfaces Datum surfaces must be easily accessible because we have to take measurement from those references. And lastly, surfaces of sufficient size to allow repeatable measurement. This is important because we have to take multiple measurements of parts during inspection and small size of datum surfaces may lead to error in the measurement. What are datum targets and when to use them?
This is the topic we'll be talking about during next few minutes. Some manufacturing processes such as casting, forging, sheet metal are likely to produce uneven or irregular surfaces which may not be flat across entire surface area. Datum targets to be used to support irregular shaped parts that are not easily mounted in a datum reference frame. For example, part shown here is a metal sheet part and this cannot be constrained into datum reference frame due to its geometry. Therefore, to inspect this kind of part, we have to use datum targets. This is drawing of casting where we have shown as how to represent datum targets. A1, A2 and A3 represent datum target area whereas B1, B2 and C1 are datum target points. Reference plane for inspection is established using these datum target points. Minimum three points are needed to establish a plane. Datum targets are designed to contact parts as specific points, lines and areas as illustrated in this animation. Application of datum. Datums are used as a reference planes, points or lines for measurement purposes. This animation illustrates as how we can reference various surfaces as datums for measurement purpose. It illustrates as how different surfaces are considered as datums for measurement of different different dimensions. With this, Module 3 on Datum is completed. If you have any questions, you can find us on social media. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.